Now to those fast-moving developments in Ukraine. News now of a deal for elections as the president tries to defuse the violent crisis there. The country of 46 million torn between protesters who want Western freedom and the police enforcing Ukraine's link to Russia. ABC's Hamish McDonald is live in Kiev with the latest developments there this morning. Hamish, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Robin. This is the moment that Ukraine must decide its future. Will it descend further towards civil war or can it find a political solution? This very hour, the president says he will be signing with the opposition a deal to bring about early elections. But as that is happening, we're hearing reports of fresh gunfire unconfirmed in the square. They're chanting no deal. Protesters are calling it a massacre. Watch as uniformed snipers pick off their targets from a distance. This is the moment a government turns on its own people with lethal force. Two days ago, this was a hotel lobby. Today, a field hospital. The injured are treated on the floor and left alongside the dead. They were killed by very high professionals. The bullets come directly to heart, to neck, to lungs. Police too are suffering casualties. Each side has its victims. It's now pretty much a clear run from this front line up the hill to the parliament building. But we've just been told if we want to walk it, carry a press card above your head because snipers are lining the rooftops. Ukraine is locked in a battle for its own future. Does it choose Europe, America, Western values, or its nearest and biggest neighbor, Russia? The bloodshed is pushing ordinary people to extreme and violent limits, and there may be no turning back. Josh, the reality is there is so much at stake here, and the coming hours will be perhaps the most crucial this country's faced so far.